So AI seems to be everywhere these days, and it has finally come to webcams. This is the Insta360 Link 2. And before you think to yourself, why do you need AI inside of a webcam of all places? Just wait until you see what this thing can do. All right, so let's take a look at this together. Now, Insta360 is not sponsoring this video, but they did send this to me for free to try it out and share my honest thoughts on it. And if you do wanna actually purchase one, I'll have an affiliate link that you can use to buy it in the description of this video. If you use that, it's not gonna cost you anything extra, but I do earn a small commission. Now inside the box, you get the webcam, and then you get this magnetic mount and a cable. The webcam just magnetically attaches to this mount, and then this you can put directly on your laptop screen like this. And then you go ahead and plug in the USB-C cable, and that will connect it up with your laptop and give it the power. That's that's literally it, which is quite refreshing because my normal setup for YouTube is quite elaborate. I have this tripod right here for my camera. There's the actual camera. That's about $1,000, $1,500 for the lens. I have the teleprompter there. In order to keep this thing powered, there's a charging cable there and another one that connects it to my laptop. Then for the overhead shots, I have this rig here and another $1,000 camera. So quite an elaborate, expensive setup, which is why I always shoot my videos right here. I just never wanna move because it's too much of a pain to break down this entire system and set it up somewhere else. So something like this is gonna be amazing if I wanna change locations or don't wanna to have to break out my whole big rig and just be able to get up and running with just one cable plugged in. But of course, none of that matters if the video quality isn't good. So let's test this out. Now for comparison, I'm going to compare the Insta360 Link 2 against the webcam that's built into my MacBook. I don't think it's very fair to compare it against my $3,000 setup because of course that one is going to be better. So right now you're looking at footage that's being recorded with my MacBook's built-in webcam. And honestly, this is a pretty good webcam for one that's built into a laptop. But now let's switch over to the Insta360 Link 2. And so here is the footage coming direct out of the Insta360 Link 2. And already, I think the quality difference is very noticeable. The colors just look a lot more accurate. The image is a lot sharper. It just looks a lot more professional. And you're able to really frame your face a lot better because the webcam can be even and level no matter how much you tilt the laptop because of the mount that it comes with. All right, now for the fun stuff. This thing has both a gimbal and AI built in. So as I move around, you'll notice that it's actually able to follow me and it will zoom in as well no matter where I move. So I'm not controlling this with my hands, right? This is all done on the actual webcam itself. That's so cool. I mean, check this out as I move. Oh, it follows me. <laughs> and all of this can be controlled with some hand gestures. So for instance, if I hold up my hand like this, now the tracking is turned off. So if I move around the frame, it no longer follows me unless I turn it back on, which I just did right there. So super cool stuff. Now the webcam does come with some software that's completely free. Everything I've shown you so far, you're able to do without having the software even installed. But since it's free, you might as well download it and it comes with some additional features in here. So here's the software right here. And here's where you can actually change the camera and like move it around with the gimbal. You can even zoom in or out or just reset it if you need to do that. We have tracking settings down here. So you can have it track just your head, you can have it track half your body or your entire body. I'm sitting down, so that's not gonna work. You can change the tracking speed and some other things over here as well. Underneath effects, there's things like auto focus and auto temperature, or you can manually set the temperature. You can go ahead and blur the background if you want and change the intensity of that. So maybe I'll just give like a little bit of a blur. I think that looks pretty good, like a very low amount. There's also some makeup features. I'm not sure about, oh, that kind of looked nice there. What do you guys think? I don't know, I'm gonna turn that one off. And then there's some other filters as well. Quite frankly, um, I don't use these. I just go ahead and leave the filters off. And then finally up here under more, this is where you can toggle on and off those gestures I was talking about before. So the AI tracking is activated with this symbol right here. So I just turned it off. 
now it's back on. We also have whiteboard mode, which I'll show you in a couple minutes. And then zoom, you can actually do this symbol to zoom in or out just a little bit using just a gesture. Now, before I show you some of the other really cool things that this webcam can do, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I love AI and talking about different AI tools. So if that interests you, definitely make sure that you subscribe. Another really cool feature is a desk view right here. So if I click on this, this will actually tilt the camera down. And so you can see what's on my desk. This is awesome if you need to showcase any type of product. The Insta360 Link 2 also has microphones built into it. So this is what it sounds like when you're using those microphones. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it and how good it sounds. But there are some voice settings in here as well. So right now we are in voice focus but this will turn on voice suppression, which will allow you to hear your voice if you're in a loud environment. And then we also have music balance. So if you're playing music while you're also recording your voice, you can have the two of those balance out. But I'll switch this back to voice focus now. As promised, I will also show you whiteboard mode. And this is actually really cool. It comes with these four stickers. You put them on all four corners of your whiteboard. And then when you're near it, all you have to do is put this symbol up It'll start searching once it sees all four corners. Then it will just snap over there. You can see the full whiteboard. I can go ahead and demonstrate. It's no longer following me unless I go ahead and switch it back like that. Now, speaking of audio, Insta360 also sent me the Insta360 Wave, which is a professional speakerphone with an AI recording suite. This thing does AI transcription. It is an AI meeting assistant and it has AI noise reduction in it as well. And this pairs very well with the Link 2. So this is what the Insta360 Wave looks like. It's sort of this cylinder. So I think you just put it on your desk, just like this. And oh, has a nice little suction cup. Make sure it stays. That's pretty nice. And then this button, I think, turns it on. I was not expecting that. Wow. Okay. I mean, show up to a conference with this and you're going to make an impression. All right. That's cool. All right. Very neat. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and switch over to this microphone and see what it sounds like. And now this is what the wave sounds like when you're using it as a microphone for any type of video conferencing call. Personally, I think it sounds pretty good. I think it sounds better than the one that's built into the webcam alone. So being able to use both of these at the same time, I think is gonna end up getting you the best setup. Now I have it wired into my laptop, but they also have a wireless dongle as well and an adapter here so you can use it with a USB-C port as well. But you can also use this completely independently for any type of meeting that you're in or a brainstorming session. Just go ahead and turn it on and you'll notice that down in on the display screen, there's a start button. You can click on, or rather record button. Go ahead and click on that. Now it's recording. You'll probably see that it's recording in there. It's picking up everything I'm saying. So I can leave this on during a meeting, start talking out loud to it, to brainstorm. It's not only going to record everything that I'm saying, but once I hit finish on it, it will actually upload wirelessly to the cloud. And now here I'm in my insta360.com account. I can see all of my audio files here. Here's one that I recorded before. It gives you an AI summary at the top. It gives you details about the meeting, like when it was and the time and some quick bullet points. So if you have multiple speakers like this one right here, it will actually show you if we come over to transcript all the different speakers. So this had two different speakers. Each of them is labeled here. You can always play back the audio by clicking play right here as well. Returning back to the summary, you'll also notice down here if there's any to-do list items that come out of the meeting, those will be auto-generated for you. And then finally, there's an AI assistant on the right that does cost extra money, but you'd actually be able to chat and ask it questions about your meetings. And then sort of as the ultimate setup, you can go ahead and put the link to on top of the wave. And then this can just like follow you around, right? No matter where you're walking, it's just kind of tracking you. You can use the audio from either one. So this is kind of like an all-in-one, really sleek setup to be able to record yourself 
and it's kind of like a, a tripod for it as well. So definitely a really awesome, awesome setup and the way these two integrate together. So there you go. That is the Insta360 Link 2 and the Wave. If you wanna try them out for yourself and actually purchase them, I'll have links for them in the description down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.